What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. What we're looking at right now is Invest 96L. Uh, before we begin, though, I do want to apologize for the delayed um, uh, frames you're looking at for the satellite imagery. That's outside of my control. I'm hoping they get that fixed pretty soon. But anyway, that doesn't change anything. This is 96L. Now having a 40% chance of development in the next five days. We were at 20 yesterday. Now we are at 40. So the chances have really been bumping up the last uh, few days. Not even the last few days. The last, like, 24 hours. But anyway, let's go ahead and read this. Conventional and low Earth orbit satellite data indicate that showers and thunderstorms associated with a tropical wave located about mid uh, midway between the west coast of Africa and the Windward Islands have increased and become better organized since yesterday afternoon. Further development of the system is possible and a tropical depression could form in the next several days while it generally moves westward to west-northwestward over the central tropical Atlantic as it approaches the Leeward Islands on Friday. Formation chance in the next 48 hours is 30%. It was at 10% yesterday. Now it's at 30. Uh, formation chance in the next uh, five days is 40%. Once again, it was 20 yesterday. Now it's 40. So these chances are really ramping up. So this is a situation we're going to have to pay attention to, especially considering that there is a potential that this is going to impact land in the next few days. So let's go ahead and take a look at the wind shear right here. Wind shear... Like in front of it, it's not the best, but it has been kind of collapsing in this uh, section right here. Let's go ahead and pull it up for the, in the last six hours. So, yeah, wind shear hasn't been the best uh, right now, and it has been kind of collapsing a little bit in this section right here. Depending on how long it'll take and depending on if it'll still be there, will really depend on, on how quickly this thing will develop right there. Because the warm water ain't stopping it, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking at 28 to 29 degrees Celsius of warm water, which is around 83, 84, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Plenty of warm water. There is right where it is now weak wind shear, but that that pocket of, of very strong wind, not very strong, but strong wind shear, we'll have to continue to keep an eye on right there. Here's the current storm information for 96L. It currently has 15 knot, or about uh, about 17 mile per hour winds. Its location right now is 14.8 degrees north, 44.3 degrees west. The pressure is 10, 11 millibars right there. So yeah, that's basically something we're looking at. The the an ensemble members right here, we have quite a few model runs, ladies and gentlemen. Not a few model runs, a few ensemble members after uh, after the la after six days. We have quite a few of them potentially striking Florida right here across the state. We have one run uh, hitting South Carolina. We have several runs kind of keeping it uh, near Cuba and then hitting the Bahamas. So, yeah, this is something we're going to have to pay attention to as time continues to progress. So, that's basically what we're looking at. Let's go ahead and take a look at the European model because this is an interesting run that we're taking a look at. This is the general European run. We've been looking at ensemble runs previously. This is the general run right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. As you can see, this system right here starts developing, starts organizing right here as it's approaching the Lesser Antilles. Once it hits the Leeward Islands, it kind of uh, slows down for a second. It doesn't really develop that much, but that's likely due to land interaction right there. And then it starts to organize and develop in between Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. It's apparent, uh, the center of it is over the Dominican Republic, and despite the kind of mountainous terrain of Hispaniola right there, it does kind of, uh, it does organize a little bit, although it does weaken over land. And then it moves back to sea. We have this thing potentially strengthening into a hurricane, and then it approaches the Bahamas right there. I'm not sure if this kind of stalling out is because if there's it's like 10 days out at this point, or if this is actually happening. We'll have to keep an eye on it, considering those, but especially considering those ensemble members right there. We'll have to continue to pay attention to it. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead now and take a look at uh, what we're looking at right here. This is the other area of interest we're taking a look at in the Eastern Atlantic. Once again, the satellite imagery is a little behind, so I do apologize for that. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this has to say. We have a 20% chance of formation in the next five days. Showers and thunderstorms have changed little overnight in association with a tropical wave approaching the Cabo Verde Islands. Environmental conditions appear only marginally, marginally favorable. And any of development of the system should be slow to occur while it moves westward to west-northwestward across the eastern tropical Atlantic through the end of the week. I'm also noticing from this satellite imagery right here that basically, um, yeah, this uh, where the center is and everything like that, we have a lot of storms primarily through the north and everything like that, but not so much at the center where the potential broad rotation center is right here. So that's an eye, something I've been keeping an eye on. 
I don't think this is going to, this thing's likely not going to develop in the next five days. It's 96L that I'm paying attention to, especially considering that this is going to be impacting land in the next few days. So, yeah. That's pretty much the situation we have right here. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out. It helps me make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day. Stay safe.